20 more years, and perhaps we can let him make a start on the textbook Sucrose uses today. The truth of this world. <sighs> what could it be? Yo, 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 what's good, everybody? It's your boy, Done Spoken God. I'm back again with another video. So today's video is going to be the Albedo Built and Setup Guide. So welcome, come on in, kick your feet up, get relaxed, and hopefully I can teach you something new. So with that being said, let's jump on into it. Okay guys, so we over here at, at Albedo's attribute page. Wow, that's a tongue twister. Try to say that three times fast. At Albedo's attribute page. <laughs> Okay, but yeah, here's the stats. They look, they're looking pretty good. Let's check out the details. All right, you might be asking yourself like, "Yo, why, why do I have eight percent critical rate? That's that's horrible." Yeah, I know. I haven't been too lucky with my uh, sub stats, but don't don't uh don't fault me for that. But the weapon that I'm using, it will compensate that. So I'm actually having, I actually have twenty percent crit rate instead of eight percent. So it's not reflected on here. But this is what I have. 146 crit damage is pretty good. I would like to have more. Um, and for the geo damage, I'm sitting at 90%. Okay, pretty good stats. All right, so let's head over here to the weapons. The current weapon I'm rocking is the Fessering Desire. It's a great weapon, it's a free weapon. So if you didn't catch the event during the time of the event, you will not have this weapon and you won't be able to, you know, I don't know if it's coming back around. It might come back around, it might don't. But yeah, this is a great weapon. We get 32% skill damage and 12% crit rate. So this is only for the skill, uh, this is only for the, the E skill, okay? And not the ultimate. All right, so, but there's also another weapon. I currently don't have it. I'm gonna put it up on the screen where it's called, uh, it's a blue, it's a three star weapon, which is called, um, Harbinger of Dawn is a great weapon. It has crit damage and has crit rate on it, so that'll help the crit rate out a lot. So if you're lucky on your sub rolls and you got a lot of crit rate, and uh, but basically just a lot of crit rate, you wouldn't need the other weapon. But it's your choice at this point. But for right now, this is a great weapon for him. Okay. So let's head over here to the artifacts. All right. The way I got my Beto set up is he's mainly just support. I'm not worrying about the uh, the full piece Arcade Petra. Um, that's another good set. That's a good set to run. But the way how it's set up, like you gotta uh, have him out on the field to be able to get the 35% bonus. But if you if you're willing to take the extra mile, fine, be it. You can do it. But um, currently I got it. I only got a two piece, and that's it. Um, it's either you either have the two piece. Uh, Arcade Petra or a two piece uh, Noblest Oblige. That's another great set to rock just like that. But for right now, I'm satisfied with what I have right now. The just a two piece, and I just got all my stats. They pretty looking. They looking pretty good. Um, so let's go into the details for this. Okay. On the flower piece, my main. I'm gonna tell you right now. The main stat you wanna aim for for Albedo is crit rate, crit damage, defense, and defense percent. Flat defense and defense percent. That's the stats that you want. But we know how that is, how that turns out with these random uh stats. But for right now, this is what we got. So we got a lot of crit damage on this. We got big uh defense rolls and more defense rolls on this flower, which is pretty good. Okay, on this one we got more defense more defense and <laughs> so basically this defense is going to help your e ability so when you swap him out you'll be able to uh still do a lot more damage while he's not on the field and we got the crit damage which is also pretty good okay we, we went with the sand for on uh the hourglass we went with defense roll defense percent which is is definitely going to bump up that e ability even more okay so we got more defense on this crit rate crit damage on the cup, make sure it's always geo bonus damage. Do not do no other cup but geo bonus damage, okay? So we got more defense percent, D flat defense, and some attack. Attack is like overall damage, just letting you guys know, okay? 
and, and for the helmet piece we gonna we went with the crit rate well the crit defense because I'm, I'm all over the place right now <laughs> um crit damage so that's gonna ample that was gonna amplify his damage so you could get those bigger numbers and everything so and on this piece is so good like this is a great piece I got defense flat defense attack and uh, a, a flat attack so this is a godly roll on this helmet piece okay all right so let's keep on moving constellations all right so on the constellations I have zero constellations so if you have the albedo this is a free-to-play uh, built for you if you are uh, trying to build your, your uh, albedo talents currently I'm at normal attack one his E ability eight and his ultimate six all right I cannot go no higher than eight for right now because I still need some more materials but until I do that you'll be able to catch that catch the catch the damage increase on my live streams uh, I live stream Monday through Friday 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. Central Standard Time so you can always come by and come check me out and yeah so whenever I get this up higher I'll be able to show you guys that all right so yeah and that's that's everything about beetle or beetle for right now so let's go ahead and move on to the party setup so let's jump on into that now okay guys so we over here at the party setup and to be honest my albedo is built just for to support to support my official so because he's like a, a free c6 official without c6 you see what i'm saying so my c my uh my official's a c6 so every time she uh pops out uh her e and bring out the bird the bird will will attack with you every time you uh you attack so whatever character i have out the bird will be attacking with that character it's not the bird won't be attacking separate uh independent of the character okay so that's how i got my uh albedo set up for that but there are recommendations for like to build a certain uh, albedo so if you have like Zhang Li and Albedo, that works pretty good because every time Zhang Li put his uh his construct down, that construct will resonate with uh, Albedo's construct. So that's a way, and you could go a full uh, Geo squad. You could have Albedo, Zhang Li, uh, Geo character, and Ning Guang, and basically that, you could have that going. Like the world is is full of uh possibilities. You see what I'm saying? So. Yeah, so basically, like I said, this is how I got him set up, and I'm gonna show you his damage and how I work, how I play with him. And if you didn't know, Barbara is here for, as always, the weapon. So if you don't got this weapon, you get it from the gotcha system. So you might, you, it's, it's hella easy to get. Just collect them all. So every time you get a blue uh, book, you definitely just just add it to it and feed it and build it up so uh so you get to rank rank refinement five okay so this is a great weapon so every time you switch from barber and you go to another character that character will get uh attack 48 percent increase attack okay it's very simple all right so with that being said i'll be catching you guys later i'll be showing you his damage on how i play with him and yeah it's pretty simple but yeah <laughs> if you enjoyed this content Leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll be back with some more content just like this. So with that being said, guys, deuces.